plaintiff, Lola Candidate, met the defendant in her neighborhood. And she claims last year he lost a significant amount of weight as a result of his crystal meth addiction. Lola's suing for an unpaid loan. Defendant Gerard Stovall says Lola is the neighborhood candy lady. And she's also a known drunk and a cougar. Gerard claims after Lola gave him the money, his tires were slashed, and he believes Lola was behind it. So he's countersuing. Start with you. Okay, back in 2007, I met Gerard in the hood. He was a big old, huge guy. Last year this time, you wouldn't believe he was that small. You wouldn't believe, you wouldn't believe this him. And he started using cocaine. Then he left cocaine, he graduated, and he started using meth. So that's his diet, you're saying? Huh? That's been his diet? Yeah. That's how he lost his weight. That's how he so lost. Much... He go to the plasma center twice a week to support his habit. To sell his blood. He sells his plasma twice a week. I would think. So if he'd had weight loss surgery, it would have cost him 10000 Mm-hmm. He smoked it off with crack for only two thousand. Right, cheaper. <laughs> he might be on the side. <laughs> That's great. You hook a brother up. <laughs> you need to lose a little of his stomach. <laughs> Can you pinpoint the parts of your body? Yeah. <laughs> when you still, if you hit the pipe that way, <laughs> if you hit it that way, will it go straight down to my stomach hot. only? Yeah. Uh, that's the only place I'm trying to lose. All right, so you <laughs> say he's a crack addict, and then he graduated to crystal meth, and, right. then, and he sells his plasma to mm -hmm. support his habit. How long have you known that to be the case? Ever since uh, I met him back, back In here. In 07? Uh, he was doing it a long time, but I didn't know he was doing it. And you met him in 07? I met him in 07. What's the nature of you all's friendship? We okay. <laughs> I mean, what do you know him from? Just the neighborhood, I you know said? I know him from the hood. Okay. Uh, we where at? What the hood? same hood. In Chisholm. What city is that, though? In I'm... Montgomery, Alabama. Oh, I was just in Montgomery last I know. week. How do you know? <laughs> you know, we're get around. Yeah, my dear, <laughs> my dear friend, Greg Calhoun, yeah. one of the most successful businessmen in Atlanta, uh, passed. Oh, sorry, he uh, owned grocery stores at one time, employed yeah. a lot of people. Um, yeah. So, all right. But go ahead. You met him in the hood. And what was he doing at that time? And how did you all develop this friendship? About me, about talking. Okay, you give me some background, sir. Well, I met. I was kidding with you about smoking crack. I don't believe that. I know a crackhead when I see one, and you don't look like one. Thank so you, sir. that's why I was having fun. Well, I know Miss Lola from the neighborhood. She's a neighborhood candy lady. Also, a drunk. Candy lady. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, drunk. Uh, He's a liar. He's a drunk at that. You know. He's a liar. So Go ahead. Um, I really actually met her through my baby mother. Mother, she's good friends with them. I was with for eleven years or whatnot. You were with your woman for eleven years? Yes, yeah. sir. But she also a cougar at that. I think oh. she had a thing for me. Oh. What? So, you know, that's what I was trying to get around to. She yes, was trying to act I like she don't want to How she much I don't want to believe it, but you know, you know how you know if a lady into you or whatever. I try to ignore the signs, but <laughs> that what it was. Stop you know? lying. She talked about Stop her body. Lying. Yeah, you you noticed that, right? I had great kids. You know, how she much was obsessed with your body. Game. That's for sure. So. <laughs> Man, why are you so obsessed with another man's body? He might be on to something there too. Be my grandson. And cool. <laughs> I don't like that him don't young. Mean I like him old. All right, tell me why you're suing him. I'm suing him because uh, back in April 11, 2017, I learned him 15. Hundred dollars, okay. and he signed a promissory note. That's why you like a mole. You got plenty of money. You can loan a man fifteen hundred. You getting somebody? <laughs> you getting somebody's pension, aren't you? No. Nope. Well, how you gonna go with an old man that don't get the pension? <laughs> you get. You need some lessons. <laughs> Bring you to my church. <laughs> <laughs> old men in my church are the most popular. You say, why that 80 year old man got all them young girls chasing after him? <laughs> he got a pension and social security, girl. <laughs> oh, well, shoot, let me go after him. So you need pension, social security. All right, go ahead. We keep getting distracted on these other subjects. Go ahead, though. What do you want to tell me about how he owes you? You, owe, you loaned him 1500 for what? He said, if he you knew he was on crack. I didn't know he was on crack at the time. 
When did we you find out? Hood. You act like the man on was I've on been known for 2007, but I left out the hood. And you just and I move. All right, you went and got bougie, and now you want to come back and point your no, finger at somebody and say they on crack. Because it's the truth. Let's move on to why you loan the money then. <laughs> Who gives a crackhead fifteen hundred dollars? He wasn't no crackhead at the time. I lent him that money. If he was one, he was no, hiding. You turn him into one, he giving him fifteen hundred. Maybe I did. <laughs> Give a dope fiend fifteen hundred dollars. What you think they gonna do? You won't see him for three days. <laughs> Go ahead. How long did it take for you to communicate back with him? It didn't take long. How long? A week, maybe two. You were smoking for two straight weeks. Surprised your heart didn't bust. <laughs> no? No, no, sir. What did he say he wanted the money for? He said he needed the money because he said he needed, he was hungry. And he said his baby mama needed this and baby mama needed that. I need the money because I'm hungry. He, he's very <laughs> convincing. All right, man. He's a big When did he guy. say he would repay you? How, he's I'm, supposed to it? pay me back. I thought I'd get my first payment April, April the 16th, 2017. Okay. I haven't received a, bit, a penny. Sir? <laughs> well, yes, sir. She loaned me $1,500. Why? What did you need $1,500 for? What did you tell her you needed it for? My little girl had heart surgery, and I got behind on bills or whatnot. And me, right. It kind of helped me and my He baby. didn't tell you that? This little girl was even born at the time. Well, sir, it helped me was and my... Was your child born at the time? Yeah, this happened in 2016. She was carrying him. He was carrying when I lent him the money. No, sir. She was born at the time. All right. Let's move on. So, so your agreement was what with her? So I, I ain't gonna lie. She loaned me the money, but I kind of knew she had a little thing for me, so I kind of played into it. But I wasn't expecting to go through everything I had to go through because of it. Meaning my tires got slashed and somebody put it. When? That's, I say about December. After she loaned me the money, somebody slashed off. You were supposed to pay in April of 17. Had yes, you sir. paid? No, sir. All right. I when did she like slash your tires? Pay. I feel when like. When did she slash your tires? He lied. If I'm not mistaken, it was around. He lied. Actually. You don't know when your car was damaged? Yes, sir. I know when it was that, damaged. Well, that's I don't what I'm asking. Like, yeah, that's all I'm asking. Spring, spring of the next year that she loaned me the money. Spring of 18? Oh, yes, she, sir. she loaned you in 17, right? No, right. 16. When did you learn the it money? It was 16. Man? Yeah, sir, I'm starting to believe her now about you being a drug addict. No, sir. Because now you're starting to sound like one, sir. I agree to pay. And this was April 17, sir. You that's, did this on April 17. That's when sir. I made the promissory note. But the money was loaned to me. Okay, why don't you think you should pay? Because my tires got slammed. You don't even know when that happened. What else? <laughs> and also, somebody put... Candy bar in my um, mm -hmm. gas tank, which she was the candidate, so. She put sugar in your tank? No, a sneaker bar. Actually, it was a sneaker bar. You got sugar in your tank? <laughs> no, in my truck, inside my truck. In tank. the tank? Yes, sir. All right, so you do. You have sugar no, in your no, tank. No, sir. Well, Ooh, boy. I feel as like if she owed me $1,500. That's your counterclaim, and how does she owe you? What does she do? Because she started stalking me and kept knocking at my window every day. She came every day to our house. Called Why? Me. For, money. for her money, like. And did you speak to her? Yes, I was. She like, um, you got some money in there? Like, nah, little how? If I ain't had nothing yesterday, how? Where, where you, you don't got nothing you could give me? Actually, she was hitting at me, sir. She wanted me to have sex with. I believe, like. You exchange for the loan? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, sir. You charge fifteen <laughs> hundred? Uh, it would have been over. We wouldn't been here if I did. You know. Okay. It's funny. So, you um, can't name the dates. You have any evidence? Do you have any type of uh, police report? No, sir. I ain't filed a police report. All right. So you must not have been uh, harassed. You didn't feel harassed yes, enough. Yes, sir, I did. Well, and why didn't you go to the police, sir? Or go and get a restraining order? Somebody's coming to your house every day, and you feel bothered, and you tell them to stop coming. Did you tell her to stop coming? Yes, I All right, and if did. she didn't, you should have got a restraining order or go to the police and tell them you're being stalked. Yes, sir. All I right. Actually, so you could have taken friends that. To my, Pardon me? I actually did one to the police about my tire. I don't have none of that. Okay. All right. I can't help you. She says she didn't do it, right? I didn't do and it. Do you have any evidence that she did it? 
Not, no, okay. no, no. All right. I'm going to dismiss your claim. Yes, and you haven't given me a defense to having signed this agreement. So I'm granting her claim of $1,500 based on this contract. Once again, mm -hmm. yours is dismissed. Are you on drugs? And if so, can no, we help you? No, get sir, off I'm not people. on drugs. I'm not on drugs. All right. Yeah. You need help. All right. Have Go a ahead. good day. $1,500. You. This sound is a hot mess. I have grandkids older than him. So I want, I'm not a child molester. I don't fool with no kids. If you're not, if you're not uh, falling on up, I don't want to talk to you. No question, no comment. Mm-hmm. I figure that. You need some help. You need to stay on up and get you some help. <laughs>